In this work, we propose a cross-model knowledge distillation method to recognition cue speech automatically. The content includes introduction, methodology, evaluations, and conclusions. Q-Speech is a visual communication system for the deaf or hearing impaired people. It combines new movements with hand cues to obtain a complete phonetic repertoire. The hand shape is used to encode consonants, and the hand position is used to encode vowels. However, the performance of the current methods, which are CNN, HMM, and Folicom, were limited by data scarcity, which leads to the overfitting in a deep narrow network training. So we propose this method to overcome this problem. Q-speech recognition is to map the video into a continuous phoneme sequence. In this study, we innovatively proposed a cross-model knowledge distillation architecture which transfers the knowledge learned from audio speech to visual-based cue speech. Firstly, we pre-trained a teacher model for phoneme recognition with a large amount of open-source audio speech data, and simultaneously pre-trained feature structures for lips, hand shape, and hand position. Then, we distilled the speech knowledge from the large teacher model into the small student model to estimate the parameters of BLSTM in the student network with frame level and sequence level distillation strategy. For frame level strategy, we tried a traditional method as equation 1 and we tuned temperature T and regulated parameter alpha manually to find a better model firstly. The loss reduction curve is shown in this figure when t is set to 1 and alpha is set to 0 0.5. We observe that the gradient of KL is almost 0, which means that the knowledge of the teacher model is not effectively distilled to the student model. And there is an imbalance in the gradient between KL and C. To avoid tuning T and alpha manually, we derive a multi-text joint loss function as equation 2 based on the text uncertainty, where T and alpha are not considered anymore, and we automatically learn the observation noise scala sigma 1 and sigma 2. Further, to balance the loss gradient between KL and CE, the joint loss function based on balance coefficient A is proposed as equation 3. We obtain A through dividing the square of sigma 2 by the square of sigma 1. But it requires high alignment for frame level distillation between different model data. Cosine similarity can be used to pay attention to the consistence of the two vector directions as an auxiliary loss function of CTC. Currently, there are three Q-speech data sites which are French, single-speaker British English, and a newly built British English with five speakers. We trained two teacher models for distillation with the French and English speech data sites in common voice. Common Voice is an open source project launched by Mozilla, including French and English speech data. The phoneme error rate is defined as equation 1. It considers insertion errors, deletion errors, and substitution errors. And all models are evaluated in Q-speech phoneme accuracy ECC which is defined as equation 2. We evaluated the teacher model as well as the student model trained with distillation in frame level and sequence level on Q-speech data size. The phoneme recognition accuracy of the teacher model is 
83.7% on French Q-Speech and 70.1% on the new British English Q-Speech audio speech data. We hypothesized that the low performance of the English teacher model is caused by the limited British English data. This is the performance comparison in frame level distillation. Folicom is the state of the art. The GLF123 represents the three joint loss functions. We can find out the GLF3 proposed in this paper gets better performance than the traditional method GLF1. It proves the effectiveness of knowledge distillation in Q speech recognition and the importance of joint loss function based on multi-text learning and balance coefficient. More balance coefficients are explored to show the effectiveness of the joint loss function we propose. From this figure, it can be observed that the closer the gradient between the KL and CE at the beginning of the training step, the more efficient the distillation. For sequence level distillation, in addition to multi speaker, cosine performs better than training the student model with CTC alone as an auxiliary loss. It, verif it verified the cosine is more suitable for, for the distillation loss than KL divergency. The English teacher model is not better than the student model trained by CTC, so that is not enough to play a positive role in guiding the student model. In close, we highlighted the effectiveness of our method and the importance of winning logic based multi-text learning as well as the balance coefficient. And the proposed method achieved new state of the art on the Q-speech recognition in the multi-speaker scenario. That's all. Thank you.